So my name is Dr. Paul Newman and I head at the Mobile Robotics Group as part of the Department of Engineering Science and I'm part of the larger Information Engineering Group that's down at the University of Oxford. And up here at Begbrook we have a field centre that we've set up where we can drive and test robots like this, our autonomous vehicle. We have about 16 people working in the Mobile Robotics Group, uh, a mixture of industrial visitors, uh, PhD students, postdocs and a research engineer and myself. And we're interested in a fundamental question is what do you do to make a machine smart enough to navigate by itself? Now that machine could be a machine that you want to go in and do security checks, it could be a machine you want to unload uh, um, uh, packing cases at a dock or in a factory, it could be a machine to drive you to work, it could be a car. They're all robots and I'm very interested in how do you make robots navigate uh, using onboard sensors and it's a very exciting area and it's interested me for probably too long now and I've been working on this area for about 10 years and it's really growing and we really are making great steps forward now driven by a massive increase in computation for a couple of dollars you can buy quite an amazing computer now and that changes everything. So um, this is a, a Bowler Wildcat and it's part of an industrial collaboration that I have with uh, British Aerospace Systems um, and it drives itself. Um, well, it can do. We haven't quite got there yet, but that's the plan. So it's the start of a, a big sort of five-year project, probably be a decade of research for me. Um, and, well, it's a very fancy rally car um, um, equipped uh, with computers and sensors. And we've started putting cameras here. There's a, there's a laser there. And the, the spinny thing you see at the top there, that rotates around. That's a 3D laser sensor that we built. Um, because I don't think we're going to be having to drive cars the whole time. You could drive them if you want to. I don't think we're going to be buying a car without a steering wheel anytime soon. But I don't think we should insist that only the able-bodied drive. And I don't think we should insist that when you're sitting in a traffic jam, you can do nothing but just get frustrated and watch the car in front. I think that can be changed. And I think computers is going to do that. And I think the Mobile Robotics Group are going to have a role to do in that as well. Well, this is big, okay? It's big and loud, um, and it's, uh, it's private land out around here, so we, we couldn't run a car like this in the centre of Oxford. Uh, it just wouldn't be suitable. So having a field centre up here allows us to have the teams coming up here, working in groups of three on a couple of week projects, to get out, drive the car around, and eventually this car's going to be driving itself, and you just couldn't do that down in the department. So this is an absolutely ideal extension of the Department of Engineering Science, this wing as part of Engineering Science. And it works really well. We have a lab around the corner there where we can have meetings, we've got some good computers in there, and 10 seconds later we can be in a car trying something out. It's just great. <laughs>